All right, so I have an interesting video. So people always want to start a business. They think, you know, they have this great idea. And sometimes you do have a great idea. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it still turns out great. Sometimes you have a great idea. It turns out bad. But, you know, when you start that business, what usually happens? You start thinking, well, man, I didn't realize there was so many people out here doing this or a competition or they didn't do this until I did it. But look behind me. Let's check this out right here. I think this is very interesting. So this is uh, Highway 64 here in Memphis. I travel this street uh, frequently. And uh, I do attend one of these gyms behind me. So if you, let me zoom in. If you see, there's a brick and mortar gym here. And if you see the sign up there, it's for ATC Fitness. And I think ATC Fitness has had a sign right there for going on two years. And I drive by and I laugh all the time. I was like, that's very competitive. You know, they're saying, hey, you know you have a gym right here? That's why we got that billboard right there. And that billboard is the same on both sides. Uh, ATC Fitness has a gym about five lights down east this way and it's the same thing like that on Germantown Parkway it's a brick and mortar exporter right there but you have an ATC fitness billboard on both sides right there and if you look at the sign it says open 24 hours for ATC fitness 15 24 hours a day 15 dollars per month so you say well let me go to the exporter and see what are your first two questions for the sport are going to be? Uh, what's your hours of operation? And what's your monthly price? <laughs> so, and then, if you look in that strip mall, there's a, uh, there's a Hot Works. So, and that's just like that. Um, I want to say probably about 10, 15 miles this way at the Asporta location on Germantown Parkway. So why am I mentioning this? So if you go right here on Highway 64, you have a Sporta, you have a Hot Works, and you have a, uh, a ATC, ATC Fitness right next to each other competing. That's business for you. Uh, you might see this with fast food places. You'll see, well, you, uh, you know, a fast food franchise might check out a zip code, check out the demographics, see what's moving in, what type of business they're moving in, what type of housing is moving in. And you might see one up for six months to a year. And then the other competing fast food places will say, hey, okay, well, I want a piece of that pie. I know uh, in Bartlett, down the street this way, going west, that there was a Taco Bell at the corner. And it sat there for maybe a year or so. And now there's a McDonald's being built right across the street. Which means shortly after that, it's gonna be, it's already a Sonic there. So Sonic, Taco Bell, now McDonald's getting built. And what's gonna come next? Another burger joint or a crystal or something. Uh, there's a gas station right here. What happens? The gas station goes up next, next door. Uh, you have a Walmart down here, what's next? There's a um, Kroger that goes next to it here in Memphis. So when you're online and you, you know, start uh, your boutique or your uh, mobile detailing, because you see a lot of those. Uh, what do you see in a, a big, uh, you know, strip mall? You'll see one guy out there with a, a van, and next thing you know, you'll see a couple of other vans out there competing, and that's just competition in business. Uh, you know, you advertise, you market. You try to separate yourself. You know, some people try to compete by saying they're the cheapest, but do they offer what you want or need? And then you're going to always have people copying what you do or doing what you do similar. Uh, you know, during the wintertime right now, you'll, you drive down the street, you'll see people on the side of the road selling firewood. Next day, you drive down that same road, you see another person with another pickup truck selling firewood. You know, that's just the nature of the beast. And you know, you might be thinking, well, I put good karma in and 
Uh, I do right by people, so my business is going to survive, thrive, and keep going. You know, that may be the case, but a lot of times it's not the case. So you have to think about that with business. You know, everybody talks about like they want to work for themselves and they like having no ceiling. You know, they like having no ceiling. You know, they can make as much money as they want to in this free enterprise. But also, what's 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 below you to save you? There's no floor either. So you have to think about that with business. But I thought this was very interesting. That 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 ATC uh, fitness sign has been there for a couple of years, saying, "Hey, Esporta, hey, we see you, but we're trying to get people to go down the street to us." So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Uh, check out my business book at paracletepub.com. I grew up in a family business uh, that has survived, thrived, and struggled. Uh, we've been through a lot. We've been, you know, had a lot of ups and downs. And I just want to you know, bring you the reality of the business. Thank you. Have a nice day.